Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. We're still playing Banjo-Kazooie. Um, we were just talking about Bay Area rappers. Who's your favorite? Did we get this um, one? I'm not no. from the Bay Area. Technic I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> hey, I'm from, uh, I'm from Minnesota. Oh yeah, don't you know? Don't, hey oh. there, hey there, hi there, ho there. Don't oh yeah, you, you know? betcha. You betcha. Sarah Palin. <laughs> Have I told you that story about the lady when I was a kid? God, I think I've already said this on the show, but I'll say it again. You hooked up with Sarah Palin? I hooked up with Sarah Palin. Swag. As a child, I impregnated her, then her teenage daughter. So. Oh, classic, It was dude. a fun time. Total Danny move. <laughs> TDM, dude. TDM, dude. Absolutely. But no, I was in a blockbuster as a kid. Oh, which I, that, can, that testifies how old we are. Yeah, I know. I, I guess we are, so. we are rapidly aging. We are not kids anymore. This is a very And I guess thing. if I already say I was in a blockbuster, I'm already fairly heavily yes, implying yeah. I was a kid. In the 90s. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just, like, looking around for some Pokemon DVD or some shit. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for days. And, um... Oh, there's the yellow ginger. And, uh... Ginger. There was this lady from the Midwest. And, uh... She was trying to get some series, but she couldn't remember the name of it. And she kept saying, Oh, yeah, you know, I, uh... I think I remember it being on the HBO. And she just kept saying HBO, HBO. in, like, the funniest <laughs> possible way. And as a kid, I was, like, holding back laughter. I'm like, what the fuck? That was my first experience with Midwest accents. Actually, the first time I'd ever been to Midwest was, uh... To the Midwest. Oh. I, I, I like to go to the Midwest. Um, the first time I'd ever been to the Midwest was, like, like three or four weeks ago. Oh, yeah, went you to went to yeah. Minnesota. Craziest 24 hours of my life. Oh, Dude, my that's God. what you said. You said that you got the whole college experience? Oh, yeah. So and did you just get really cross, hooked up with a girl? and I didn't get cross. I got really drunk off of, like, the cheapest beer known to there me. There we go. It's uh, it's $12 for 36 beers. God bless the Midwest, dude. I've said it once. It's, I will it, say it, it again. It is literally the worst thing I've probably ever drank. Oh, oh, no, no doubt. Absolutely yes, no doubt. It is quite awful on almost all scales. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I get in, right? There's snow on the ground in, like, mid to late May. <laughs> I have to trek a mile and a half from where my friend parked his car because there's no parking on campus. Jesus, what? What I, school were you at? I uh, went to St. Olaf. Shout out to Max. Hey, bud. Hey, Max. You're not, definitely not watching this. Anyways. <laughs> my name's Danny. Uh, uh, Come to Santa Clara sometime. Yay! We'll kick it. We'll drink cheap beer. That'd be cool. Um, but anyways, like, for some reason, it was, like, it was at night. I got in at, like, 12. And we had to trek through these backwoods. And I remember just being in shorts. I was, because oh, it was, like, God. it had been, like, 88 degrees at Santa Clara. Like, beautiful day. I was, like, yeah, well, it's, like, really hot to put on pants. Like, fuck that. I for get sure. in. There's snow on the ground. There like we half, go. We're like a mile and a half. We're tr we're stepping on the in this like like ravine thing. My friend goes nothing like a hey, ravine thing. What like watch out, it's buddy. As soon as he said that says that, I literally just eat shit. <laughs> there is mud everywhere. That's hilarious. And it was either laugh or cry at that point, and so I did both. No. <laughs> I uh, I just I laughed it off. <laughs> Laugh or cry, so I shat myself. And yeah, I pooped and I reverted back to an infant. Actually, <laughs> I, I, in that moment, I turned into a goat. And then, I don't know. Yeah, that was a it was a goat like thing to do. <laughs> no, sorry, I just continue bad. your story. Went, bah, bah, bah. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'm like, "I don't know." I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It's a reaction at this point. Uh, but anyways, yeah. And so I had to take a shower at like one in the morning, and my shorts were soaked but that was a good experience i had a lot of fun yeah no that's just one of those stories dude yeah it's good just stories. midwest dude classic midwest everyone's super friendly if you're white and uh yeah <laughs> Every, god the people are so nice you know if you're caucasian yeah if you uh are a white male <laughs> <laughs> anything else and good luck <laughs> no but anyways yeah that was that was pretty fun are they pretty racist down there though no i don't i honestly don't think so oh you're just but the fact that, like, there's just not a lot of diversity in the Midwest. Mm. Like, it's just a fact. Like, I don't think they're necessarily racist. It's not really, like, the stereotypical South or anything. But um, there's definitely not a ton of black people. First friend I ever made from Chicago was Colin Lynch, the guy that was originally going to be your roommate. Yeah. Of course, we all know that story. Well, yeah. the viewers don't. He's he's an interesting guy. He's pretty brash. We'll get to that eventually. Yeah, sure. He just, he's like a social Darwinist, like... 
like fuck the poor, like openly, very like wow. we should kill every criminal, like wow. yeah. So I had his no idea. he was a nice guy otherwise, but his political views were like super, super fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't understand that. What's the deal with that? Like one? retarded levels of libertarian. So, but really, he was a nice guy. You probably would have gotten along with him. It's because I'm a white male. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Actually, no, I, I don't think he was racist. Really? At least he didn't make any racist comments. He was just very, very. Is he like, like super loaded or something? Like very loaded. Okay. Holy shit! He's from like the richest part of Chicago. Well, then there you go, dude. Some people are out of touch with. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, definitely. That's shit. But anyways, we digress. This show is supposed to be funny. So let's... <laughs> no, hey, you know, inter interesting part conversation is definitely let's like make a some part poop of it. Jokes. Um, that looks like a mount of shit right there. I pooped once. I, I too pooped once. It was crazy. Weird. Yeah. Oh my um, god, we have so much in common. Oh my god. But like, honestly though, it's like so, I'm going to be so happy when we're out of the dorms because it is so awkward to just be taking a poop. I'm pretty done and, with public shits, generally. Pu I don't, I don't like the public yeah, defecation. Yeah, no, neither do I. Um, sometimes I'll just kind of like play a game on my iPhone and wait yeah. for someone else to stop peeing so I can yeah. just have a little bit of privacy with my poop. No, yeah. I, I, I feel you on Maybe that Maybe I don't want to hear, I don't want everyone to hear everything that's coming out of my body 24-7. And honestly, I kind of get bugged when people have no restrictions on that. I'm like, listen, yeah. like, I realize, unless this is like really, really tragically imminent diarrhea, like, yeah. I don't want to hear, like, your bowels, yeah. like, Acting fucking. Oh, Excuse me. Yes. It sounds like a water buffalo is five hours into labor <laughs> in that stall. Could you please tone it down, <laughs> sir? Please Am or I madam? I don't fucking know. Yeah, uh, you might have broken in here. Yeah, I. I. That's a definite <laughs> possibility. That's disgusting to think about. I mean, <laughs> very disgusting. Like, 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 oh no, girls don't poop or no, fart, dude. No, 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 they don't. <laughs> Explicitly is, masculine is, thing. Yep, that is a guy trait. <laughs> what do those feathers do? Uh, feathers help you fly. Why didn't you get them? Ooh, there's a shark. Uh, I think we're pretty chillin' on feathers him. right now. You actually can't murder the shark. He's known among Banjo-Kazooie fans as, like, the scariest part of any Banjo-Kazooie game. Because as soon as you get in the water, he's faster than you. I'm pretty sure he takes two of your health with one bite. Ooh. And then as soon as you leave the water, he just straight up disappears. Okay, we already got that one. We already have the perfect Jiggy score for this course. I'm wondering where the rest of the notes are. What are you trying to I'm do? I'm 89 in. I'm trying to speedrun slash 100% this, but because we stopped in the middle of Treasure Trove Cove last time, it's just a little bit awkward in terms of like where the rest of the notes are. So what happens at the end of the like game? A... Um. Okay, you know those Jinjos, those little guys that have just been kind of uh, scattered throughout the course? Oh, fuck, get away. Yeah. Um, they, uh, end up building, like, a machine to, like, thank you for helping them out. Turns out it murders you. It murders the witch. Oh, Which swag. is pretty cool. Like, you fight the witch, too, but in the end, it's the Jinjonator that really saves the fucking day. The Jinjo what? The Jinjonator. The Jinjonator. Yeah, dude. Wow. This game's pretty silly. This game is quite comical. Oh, fuck. Where are the rest of those goddamn notes? I don't know. I might just say fuck it. What's that guy doing? B. He's a bucket. I <laughs> filled him up so that he could drain the water, which would gain me access to the sand castle, which once we start getting some cheat codes later, we can punch that shit in and make the game a lot easier. Whoa, cheat codes, Danny? Yeah. They're ac yeah, no, they're actually... They're called cheat codes, but they're just, like, things that, like... like they'll double your, like, egg amount... Or like your feather capacity or something. So it's like they're... I thought No This it's... was a different <laughs> type of play I'm by play. leaving. I'm out of here. This is bullshit. <laughs> Fuck the contract. Fuck the endorsement <laughs> deal. <laughs> Fuck Take him. Nike off of Extra Lives Gaming right now. Get Nintendo <laughs> out of here. We're out. <laughs> Tell Shigatori Hasegawa that he can <laughs> Shigatori <my> Hasegawa. <laughs> Is that a person? Yeah, it is. It's the guy who invented uh, Mario. That's Shigeru Miyamoto. No, no, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Shigatori Hasegawa. <laughs> I, next time on Extra Lives, join us. Join us next time. Pretty we're gonna, sure that's a name. We're gonna be. Yeah, no, it's probably a name. Just... That's not racist, okay? I'm Asian. I can say that. 